Oh my God, is that a good looking fifth wheel? Wow. Um, this is a Cougar 338 RLK by Keystone here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, it's a 20th anniversary edition Cougar. And wow, these guys pulled out all the stops. This is really <laughs> impressive. We've been a Cougar dealer. They didn't look like this. They did not look at all like this. This is awesome. I would love, after you guys give it a chance, watch the whole video, and then leave a little bit of feedback in the video description. Let me know what you think. You know, if it's constructive, be kind. If you're gonna be a troll, I'll block you. It's just that simple. But this is, this is gorgeous. I mean, Cougar is and has been the number one seller in its class, if not the number one selling fifth wheel RV on the planet uh, for like the past 14 years. The only fifth wheel that's ever eclipsed it in sales uh, in, in any time of recent years is its sister Montana. These two guys are the kings of the fifth wheel market. Why though? And there are more Cougar clones out there than any other brand of camper. It is the most copied series of towable RV ever on the planet. What is everyone chasing here? Did you see that motion activated light, by the way? That's another one of those cool updates. But basically, they're trying to take the king off the top of the mountain, but they keep failing because Cougar ain't dead. You know, they, they keep prevailing. So things like this. In this class, you don't usually get this cubic foot of massive un uh, unobstructed pass-through storage. It's huge. It's awesome. You saw the little niceties like the motion activated uh, pass-through storage lighting here. So you don't forget that lights on. It doesn't drain your battery when it's in storage. Easy access outside TV hookups. That little mount right there, it can hook up to a big swing out TV if you're so inclined. Um, when you start looking around, you're like, oh yeah, oh okay, well I've seen the magnetic baggage doors, but they're using double magnets. So this thing actually holds. They've got the nicer compression latches that actually hold. Um, the nose. Oh my god. The nose is gorgeous. I mean, it, it didn't look bad before, but it did not look like that. You've got that overhead LED accent. You've got twin LED accents right here. It's probably hard to see in the sunlight right now, but oh my, look at the sun shine off the top of that thing. It reminds me of like those movies where a samurai moves his sword real slow and you see the light glimmer off of it, because this thing is a stone cold just killer. <laughs> Cougar. <laughs> so you've got the uh, the raised like sort of like bubble lettering and 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 matching uh, Cougar decal up here. It looks awesome. It looks so three dimensional. The whole thing looks like it's moving when it's sitting still. It's so sharp and angular. Cougar was the first brand of fifth wheel uh, that, to standardize automatic leveling. So you got that handled for you. Um, this has best in class resale and trade in values. Uh, and there's there's very few guarantees in life. You've heard about death and taxes. The third one is a cougar in a campground. That's a fact, Jack. Um, the slide walls are really rough and textured, and they have a double seal system. Actually, this is a good way to get to see that if I can block enough sun. Maybe I can't. Maybe this is a terrible thing to do. There we go. You can see the double seals, and you can't even see it because they're so tight. Wait, hold on. There we go. Uh, you can sort of see a little bit of that aluminum C-channel, that rain gutter, basically. It has an internal wall rain gutter to shunt any water that somehow wicks its way inside a double seal away from the coach. Now, the bottom trim on these slide-outs, it actually has a little drip rail on it so that water doesn't wick into the subfloor. And you're thinking, everybody's got to do that, right? Nope. I didn't even know about that until we started picking these up. I started walking around the other brands that we carry. They don't do it. There's like a lot of things here on the slide outs other brands don't do. And that's the thing. That's the thing. That's what makes Cougar uh, still unbeatable in its class. There are other great coaches out there. But basically, here's what I can say, guys. It's like somebody took a piece of, take a document and put it on a copy machine. And what you get out of it is a functional copy but it's not the original, and the fine details are missing, and the letters are a little gritty, and that's exactly what all these Cougar clones are like. They're a copy from a copy machine, and at a surface glance, they're functional, but they miss little details like the slide-out stuff. You want your camper to last longer and not leak? Well, maybe you should be looking at some detail stuff like this. If it's not fun to learn about, imagine how much fun it is to try to fix something. You're, you just don't have to fix this. That's the point. This lasts longer. Uh, fully enclosed privatized docking station. Cougar brand is 0 to 100 degree rated with its fully enclosed underbelly. Uh, insulation nose caps, slides, tanks, all kinds of stuff. They go to all sorts of measures to keep you seasonally protected. Um, 
cargo travel rack on the back. Uh, and uh, this year they kind of swapped it up. There's a, a nice little post that you can kick up to strap some bikes to, so it's perfect for bikes. Now, a lot of people uh, with these bigger Cougars, they don't tow with them so much as they just leave them parked somewhere. Well, um, that's really handy for keeping, even if you're parked, it's nice to keep your bikes in one spot to keep them from wandering around on your campsite when you're not there. But here's another cool thing on this floor plan. It's a rear living couples coach with an outside kitchen, no bunks. Trying to find an outside kitchen without bunks is, is like pulling teeth. As my uh, old farmer boss would say, it's as rare as hen's teeth. <laughs> hey, you guys wonder where I get my goofy sayings sometimes. It's just the people around me that inspire me. So you've got a full functional, full size outside kitchen here and it's all the current updates. I like the extra little spice rack they've added there. Uh, over here, We've got uh, TV hookups as well as just outlets in case you want to add extra appliances here. Now look at this beauty right here, this stainless steel monstrosity. It's a real grill, not a little pop-up cooktop on a fifth wheel. They went all the way, and if you don't need it, it's either extra prep space or it's out of the way. No big deal. And we still have the bigger, uh, I almost called it medicine cabinet. I often refer to this as dad's medicine cabinet, but the bigger outside refrigerator. You get the idea. Um, the uh, steps, aluminum, not steel, stronger, lasts longer, doesn't slip, brighter at night, easier to see. Uh, the uh, awning is easy tilt. A lot of, you'll see the easy tilt awnings really commonly on trailers, but on fifth wheels it often gets forgotten because I think they don't think that you care about that or you don't know or you take it for granted. I don't know, but Cougar doesn't have that deficiency. We've got a wider 30 inch entry door that is friction sprung so that it catches itself and it doesn't slam against the side of the trailer, even if the wind catches it. It takes something like a 25 or 30 mile an hour, whatever it is, gust, to make that happen. Now, remember that the one that we have in stock may not be uh, this one. So the one that we have on hand could look different from this, even if it's just different fabrics or something or options. So if you want to see what we have on hand, visit the link in the video description down here to get a look. Now, I've purposely left lights off on this so you get to really, really see. Like, see all these little accent lights? There's, uh, you've got your overhead accent light here. And at night, it's like the perfect night light. You can't really see much of it during the day, but at night, it really glows. Now we've got extra accent lighting up here. And when all this is on, it makes the RV look and feel super bright. It's awesome. Now we walk up here. We've got those island kitchen lights. Sometimes you just need some mood lighting. You don't need the whole cabin lights on, but you can do that too. Now they kicked it up another notch. This anniversary edition is absolutely loaded, loaded. Look at this. Slide out accent lighting on all the slides. So you've got overhead lighting, you've got kitchen accents, you've got slide accents. This is just gorgeous. Look how much life and brightness has come into this thing. You know, instead of going with like three like floodlights, they went with just a multitude of smaller lights here and there. But there's a ton of them, and it makes it so light and bright in here. The accent batten strips on the roof, it is gorgeous. Cougar's been making the most successful thing in its class for years. But you could argue they weren't making the best looking fifth wheel out there. Well, they said forget that. We're going to take that title right back. It's hard to argue. It's real hard to argue. It's subjective, for sure, but it is hard to argue. So, uh, here in this huge uh, rear living room, you've got these dual opposing super slides. Over here, you have this ridiculously sized uh, like home theater entertainment system with this TV that swings out for easy viewing. If you're standing in the kitchen doing prep work where I'm at, no problem. Perfect view of the screen. If you're sitting in this dual wall hugging theater recliner, no problem perfect uh, viewing. You're sitting on the sofa in the back, no problem. You can angle the TV so that everybody gets to see it at night. You can entertain guests. This is a couple's dream coach uh, that is also an entertainer's dream coach. It's so cool how they accomplish two and one. And look at the absurd size of this massive, massive uh, electric space heating fireplace down here. It's not just big, but it's aesthetically pleasing. And um, it's got LED visuals. You can turn just the, the look of the flames on without cooking yourself out of the camper. I'm telling you, all these little touches. I mean, the nuts and the bolts of the coach hasn't changed. They just made it look as good as it's always performed. Little stuff like this, too. Like, they give you full door access to your side stands. Brands just don't usually do that. If you're lucky, if you're lucky, they'll give you anything, but this gives you everything. Now, you've got larger side stands here next to this trifold uh, fold-out sleeper sofa. So, Grandpa and Grandma, you don't have to, 
get a bunkhouse to occasionally bring the grandkiddos along. You don't have to suffer from grandparent guilt. You can sleep a couple of them here, no problem. They can plug in all their little devices and phones and keep themselves charged up. They have their own evening luxury entertainment system that they will thank you for. Um, plus, you got the outside kitchen, like a bunkhouse. Now, look at this. I've never seen this in a towable RV before. It's beautiful. So, it, it, they function exactly like pleated shades, but they're wooden plantation blinds. And there's uh, kind of like, they have all the benefits... Uh, of like uh, a metallic mini blind, but none of that cheap look and feel. They won't get bent up. And you know my favorite part about these? You can clean them. You can actually put pressure on it. You know, pleated shades are great, but you can't clean them for spit. And you want to know a cool fact, folks? If you pull this shade all the way down, it literally has like double to triple the benefit of a dual pane thermal window in the RV business. This is not the poor man's thermal pane. This is the smart person's thermal pane. And did you notice that all the windows, uh, with the exception of these toothpicks right here, open for ventilation to get you some really great airflow? Um, great overhead storage above the rear sofa. Now, all of the windows they have here, it just like seamlessly flows into a deceptively awesome kitchen. You're looking at it at a glance, you're like, eh, I mean, it looks good, but really look at some details. We're going to start up top and work our way down so don't miss anything. We already talked about the indirect accent lights and everything. You've got a wall controlled. Uh, like uh, max air ceiling fan, so you can get good airflow. And if you're cooking up a storm, that's the best heat exhaust ever because that's the highest point in the kitchen and living area. Now over here, we've got the solid surface um, uh, kitchen countertops. This is about the only thing, and I mean literally almost the only thing inside the camper that has not changed since previous generations is the countertops. Other than that, the cabinetry, everything. Now this is not black. I know that looking at this right now, it looks black, but it's because of the way digital cameras process color contrast. If I get really close, you'll see it's actually just like a, uh, a, a deep distress, like accented dark brown. So it's not a hard black, don't have a heart attack. Anyway, now we've got great prep space here. And did you notice, again, I see this all the time, but Cougar gets it done. They did not center mount the uh, sink in this island. They left it uh, offset asymmetrically so that you get actual counter space. And what that creates is drawer space here in the kitchen that you just otherwise wouldn't have. Now, under these big cabinets over here, there's plenty of space for, uh, like, wastebasket and whatnot. There's more than enough space for just a ridiculous wastebasket or two down there. Now, when I flip around, whenever you see counter space, that means storage above or below. That means you've got cabinet space here, and this is no exception. That means you've got cabinet space here. Now we've got a bigger residential sized microwave in this thing with extra storage above. We've got a huge, huge four door, uh, 12 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator freezer. That's like the biggest available in this category. It is awesome, and it, again, traveler friendly, or stored, uh, like storage permanent site friendly, because if you lose power, no problem. It kicks over into gas, and you don't lose everything in your fridge. You don't get to start your trip by cleaning, you know, moldy hamburger juice out of your freezer. But look at this. Like, you look at this, and it's like, it's, it's simple, it's plain, it's unassuming, but you walk over here, and you've got this ridiculous virtual floor to almost ceiling pantry with motion activated lighting. Did you see that kick on right there? So the light kicks on when you need it. It hides the converter panel. That could be a perfect little shoe garage potentially down there, but I mean, wow, wow, storage. Now, these, are, these aren't cabinet doors. These are doors. This is like the door to your bedroom. These are heavy. These are solid. They're not going to jar and fall apart. And anytime you get a door at Keystone. It is fully framed out. So that door jam, even if the trailer's not level, even if the frame's out of square, it holds. Battery lights blinking at me. I think I can squeeze through this thing uh, without it going off. We'll see. I might have to splice some video. I hate doing that, but it is what it is. Now here you've got motion activated light in the hallway. I purposely turned it off to show you that you can actually manually turn it on and off. It is so nice having that little stuff like that included. Stepping up here, they have adopted Big Sister Montana's, I call it melt-away bathroom door. It just sort of melts out of the way. Melts in your hand, not in your mouth. I don't know. That didn't work. Doesn't matter. So when we step in here, we've got this very large linen cabinet. And it is as deep as the shower. So you've got all kinds of storage. We've got a, a nice porcelain foot flush stool down here. Um, the shower, you can see, has a seating area, and it is a plenty tall shower that even big fellows like me can stand in, or ladies, as it were. Now, 
last year, you would have dropped to a T-molded countertop here for Mica Topped. What they've done is they've upgraded to a, a press membrane thermal foil waterproof counter here in the bathroom. And it's got the same print and uh, matches the, the kitchen decor. So you've got waterproof countertops everywhere. But this stuff's a little bit lighter. It may be, uh, I mean, it, it just, it's, it's just awesome. It's just pure function. Um, so up here, master bedroom, you want to add a second AC? Not a problem. Cougars are all 50 amp service. You can easily do that. And did you notice that every room in this has one switch lighting for the main cabin? This is no different. We've got our full 60 by 80 true queen bed over here. And it looks like they have created this floor plan with potentially the option of adding a king. There is the space to do that here. Now, um, we are also a Montana dealer here at Halid RV. And one of the things I like about Keystone is they don't really like overlap themselves very much. So basically where Cougar stops is where Montana high country picks up. So at our dealership, if you like this floor plan, but you want a king bed, we have that in a Montana high country, you know? So uh, being very invested with the Keystone brand, it allows us to have a lot of extra flexibility that other dealers may not. Um, you know, we, we carry their top five selling brands at Keystone, the number one seller in each category in which RVs are built, total RVs that is. Um, so, I mean, whatever you need, if Keystone builds it, we got it, basically. So, notice, bedroom TV. This is a, a little bit of a touch-up from previous generations, part of that 20th anniversary thing. And the TV actually can swing out so that you can get easy viewing because they put a big bedroom window in here. And again, this is something they kind of borrowed from Sister Montana. The TV can swing over to be symmetrical uh, with the bed or central centralized on the bed. Big dresser here. You can put a Combomatic washer dryer, one of those Splendid jobs over there. I'm not a big fan of it personally, but if, if that's the only thing in town for you, that's fine. Now notice, they didn't chintz on the shades now that we're out of the living room. That's the same wooden blind. That's the same wooden blind. This cross breeze window over here, same wooden blind. So if uh, you've got a migraine, you need to knock out the sunlight, you can really do it in here. Um, this is this is sharp. I am so impressed with this product. It has already been, from a service standpoint, an absolute, absolute breath of fresh air. These guys, uh, Keystone really, in general, has been building such good product for a, a while now. The last couple years, they have been the very least frequently uh, worked on brand at our dealership, and that's saying something considering how many different Keystones we uh, sell and carry here at the store. So, um, if what you're looking for, <laughs> these guys have already been the best. They just got better. They just got better at what they've already been the best at. I mean, that's, I love it. Like little, little things like this. How good looking is that with your little, you've got, you know, the sprayer or the hard jet faucet. Wow. Just even that. They even touched up the faucet. Everything in this has been custom combed to just be absolutely stellar. If you found this video useful, uh, all I ask is the opportunity to earn your business here at uh, my family's dealership. Um, it doesn't matter where you live. They're on wheels. They can get from here to there and there to here and everything in between. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Hail it, RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone.